creativity. Well, what is creativity? Well, is, the word has been passed around a lot these days, but the general population it is a very unexplored topic. Um, it, um, by definition, it is the act or process of creating something original. But doesn't that seem a little vague or generic? Well, there's a reason for that. Creativity is not something that you can wrap up in a box and define as one thing. The very act of creativity is thinking outside the box. Um, but why is it important? Well, creativity is uh, progress. And without progress, uh, without creativity, there would be no progress. And if the same thing was done over and over again, there would be no change. And we as humans are programmed to progress, and we need change. Um, and just looking at society, pro uh, progress and change are evident. Um, because over like a century ago, nothing, almost no aspect of life is the same as it was back then. And and without creativity, there'd be no MP3s, no phones, no uh, computers, no electronics even. And it's it's uh, evidence that creativity is essential to us in every way. But who has creativity? Well, some people say that um, some people are born with it, some people are born without it. Well, from my experience, that isn't true. Everybody is uh, creative in their own way. And the problem may just be that they haven't found that way or they are unaware of a effective way to come up with creative ideas. And as I see it, there are two types of people in the world. There are active creative people and there are inactive creative people. <laughs> so why do we think there are uncreative people out there? Well, patience. Patience is a key factor in creativity. And serendipity is, I think, the most effective way to come up with creative ideas. And patience is very important to wait out and come up with those ideas. And um, people are usually impatient uh, for ideas. And um, okay, well, I am patient. What do I do now? Well, uh, creativity is a spontaneous process. And think of it like fishing. If you pull the rod uh, too early and too hard, the line will break. And, uh, but if you wait too long, the fish will go away. And uh, awkward. Um, I think uh, to, to be successful, you can um, break it down into three steps to come up with a creative idea. When you get the idea, when you record the idea, and then organize the ideas. Um, uh, Synergy is applied here. 90% of my ideas come from chance encounters, a um, moment of inspiration. That's uh, serendipity is, I think, the best way to do it. And um, now, when that idea comes, and it will at some point, you have to capture it. You have to write it down, because if that moment passes, you will most likely never come upon that moment again, because you can't recreate it. And you must always assume that you will never, ever uh, come up with the idea again. And if you say that to yourself, that you will write it down uh, a little late, uh, in a few seconds, that is a dangerous card to play because, um, from experience, I have lost an idea seconds after saying that to myself. Now, and if you have an overflow of ideas, let it flow onto the paper. Um, and never, by under any circumstances, stop that flow of ideas because that is the worst thing you could do. And once you have the ideas down, you must reorganize them into a comprehensible order because you, uh, most likely your spontaneous ideas will not have done so themselves. And do not force creativity because if you try to force creativity, um, that will most likely kill it. And your mind will attempt to pull whatever it can from your brain and it will pull memories. And in some shape or form, what you will get is what I like to call cliché to it. Uh, and I like to end with, um, well, everybody, everybody has, uh, has creativity. And that inactivity I talked about is what usually hides it. And as a Latin proverb says, if you believe you have it, then you have it. If you believe you are creative, then the ideas are soon to come.